Your WCBI First Alert AccuWeather Forecast with meteorologist Trevor Burchett. Lots of weather coming up here in the next 24 to 48 hours, all courtesy of Tropical Storm Cristobal having made landfall earlier today in Louisiana. And it's going to come uh, closer to us through the day tomorrow. Rain and wind through the day, possibly up to one to three inches of rain. And we're also going to have to talk about the potential for some breeze spin up tornadoes. With a tropical system like this, the whole thing uh, is already spinning around. So it's easier for those smaller, weak tornadoes to pop up. That's something we're going to be watching for through the day tomorrow, in addition to the flash flooding and the wind threat. Overnight tonight, I don't think everybody's going to see rain here in the next couple of hours, but there are some rain bands starting to filter in here, especially if you're down in Louisville and Macon. You're going to notice some shower activity here in the next couple of hours. 73 for the low tonight. The winds starting to gust up as well, anywhere from 15 to 20 miles an hour out of the southeast. But again, Better chances for rain are going to come tomorrow. By the time you wake up, you're going to notice the rain and it's going to stick around all through the day tomorrow. Basically a washout for your Monday. Highs right around 82 degrees, so not quite as warm thanks to all that rainfall. And the winds, you're also going to notice those gusting anywhere from 35 to 40 miles an hour at times. This is a tropical storm we're talking about. So as it comes inland, we're still going to have to deal with those gusty winds here uh, through the day tomorrow. Let's take a live look outside right now from the Alpha Insurance Camera Network. Not a whole lot going on. We're going to watch Louisville here. I think they're going to get some rain in the next 30 or 45 minutes or so. Uh, nothing too major, though, just some light sprinkles. Everybody else for now staying dry. Uh, temperatures anywhere from 84 in Tupelo to 81 right now in Louisville and Columbus. Speaking of the tropical storm, the latest advisory just out at 10 o'clock from the National Hurricane Center. Uh, you see the center there. It made landfall just east of Grand Isle, Louisiana. It's now basically right on top of New Orleans and Baton Rouge there uh, near Hammond, Louisiana. Winds are down to 45 miles an hour, but those are still pretty gusty uh, when you keep uh, in mind that this storm is basically going to come right over us. The windiest and rainiest part of the storm is going to be on top of us tomorrow. Uh, here's a better view of what's going on along the Gulf Coast right now. Some of those heavier rain bands filtering in through Gulfport, Biloxi, over to Mobile and Orange Beach. Uh, this yellow band there, that's probably some gusty winds, uh, 35 to 45 miles an hour. And notice that if that stays on the current track, that would put it here in the Golden Triangle by early tomorrow morning. So that's what we're going to be watching for. And as I mentioned, also the gusty winds, anywhere from 25 uh, in Hattiesburg up to 40 in Gulfport. We've even seen as high as 50 uh, with that one rain band that I was telling you about coming on in. And again, all of this moving off to the north, and that is going to bring us some gusty winds through the day tomorrow. Basically going to be due west of us by about 1 o'clock, uh, and then just to our north and west by about 7 but we're going to be dealing with impacts for at least the next 24 to 36 hours as this storm slowly progresses off to the north. Here's what Futurecast is showing us. The center of circulation basically going to follow up the Mississippi River. And uh, the heavier bands, again, coming through here by early tomorrow morning through the day on Monday. So really, we're not going to see many dry periods through the day tomorrow. Maybe early in the morning, a little bit of a break, but I think most of the day is going to see some rainfall. Uh, and these little cells here, that's what we're going to have to watch for the potential for those isolated spin up tornadoes anytime from the afternoon into the evening hours. So keep it here on WCBI and of course download that WCBI news app and we'll keep you updated if any warnings are issued. The biggest threat, the things you're going to notice is the, the flooding rain and the heavy uh, wind, 35 to 45 mile an hour wind gusts. And again, the secondary threat for some isolated spin up tornadoes. So by Monday, by Tuesday, I think one to three inches of rain is certainly possible. We've got another round of storms on Wednesday, but after that, take a look. Thursday, Friday, into the weekend, all looking nice and much sunnier. Highs back to near 90 by next weekend.